Hello and welcome to another quick no-nonsense Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly change the color of clothes inside of Adobe Photoshop 2024. I've chosen these two scenarios because let's face it, altering the color of an item that no one's wearing is a piece of cake. But what happens when someone is actually wearing the jacket? That's where the real challenge lies and this is precisely what we're going to dive into today. So let's not waste any more time and dive straight in. Starting with the jacket, the first thing we need to do is make a selection. The fastest way to do this is to use the object selection tool. The shortcut is W and then you can use shift or option to cycle through the selection tools. With our selection tool, all we need to do is hover over anything we want to select and a pink fill should appear indicating what will be selected. Make the selection and then you want to make sure that everything is selected properly. If there are any areas that weren't selected, but you want them to be, all you need to do is hold shift and then a small plus will appear on your selection tool. Just drag this over any missing areas and they will be included. Wonderful, we have our selection. So the next thing we need to do is expand our mask to remove any fringing. Fringing is when your mask doesn't quite cover the edges. So you can see the original color bleeding through, which we don't want. To do this is easy, just head up to select, modify, and then expand. Two pixels should do the job, but play around with this. You don't want to go too far, otherwise your colors will start to bleed into the background, which you obviously don't want. With our selection looking good, we can now add our hue and saturation layer. From there, all you need to do is simply change the hue and play around with the saturation. And congratulations, you successfully changed the color of your clothing. Let's move on to our second example and see how we tackle changing the color of a jacket that someone is wearing. So the process starts out the same, but we'll need to spend more time refining our mask. Again, using the object selection tool, we can drag this over our jacket. Then we need to make sure that the hands or the shirt underneath aren't selected. So this time we need to use Alt or Option and then drag this over these areas to remove them from the selection. After that, we're going to expand our mask by heading up to select, modify, and then expand. Two pixels will be enough again. Then add your saturation layer, but this time we're going to check colorize. Using the colorize option in this scenario helps us to ensure that the jacket's color is uniformly adjusted to match the new hue while maintaining a natural look in relation to the model's body and surrounding environment. From here, we can change the hue saturation to whatever we want. What you might notice within your image and in this example is that the orange from the original jacket is bleeding over into some areas of the image, such as the skin or the shirt. To remove this, we need to start by selecting the areas again using the object selection tool and then adding our hue saturation layer. I'm going to reduce the saturation down to something which looks more natural for the hands and other areas, I'm going to create a new blank layer and then change the blend mode to color. Then with the brush tool selected, I'm gonna use a soft brush and then color sample the green. All you need to do is paint over the areas and this should make everything look more natural. You can play around with the opacity if it's too strong. And there we have it. That's how you change the color of clothes inside of Photoshop. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more Photoshop tips and tricks. Your support really helps me to create more content like this. Don't hesitate to drop any questions or suggestions in the comments below. I love hearing from you and I'm here to help any challenges you might face. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.